Welcome to Everyday Linux User. For the past month, I've been using Endeavor OS on my main computer and using it for all the stuff I generally use my computer for, which includes browsing the web, managing emails, making videos, writing letters and notes, etc., creating spreadsheets, watching videos, and listening to music. Now, Endeavor OS is an Arch based distribution and it essentially makes it easier for the average Joe to install Arch Linux and it comes with some extra tooling to make it easier to get started, such as an application for installing common software packages. Does this mean that Endeavor OS is suitable for the average Joe, the new user to Linux, or those that don't want to spend their time in the terminal? No, it doesn't. Whilst Endeavor does a lot to flatten the learning curve, it doesn't take away all the pain in the same way Manjaro does, but it does stick closer to Arch as a philosophy, and if you are an intermediate user who wants to try an Arch-based distro for the first time and you are willing to get to grips with the terminal, then it may well be for you. In my last month, I looked at OpenSUSE Tumbleweed and one of my criticisms was that it is created for general use, but I think most users would find it tricky to install and use it long term. Yes, if you are stubborn and committed, it will eventually be everything you want it to be, but I feel it is mislabeled and certainly goes down as being for a more intermediate user. Endeavor OS is different, it doesn't pretend to be for the everyday Linux user. On the website it says, to avoid the project becoming unmanageable, we decided in the early stage of development to provide a basic system that is as close to Arch Linux. That's why we are aiming for a Linux user with an intermediate level of knowledge, who likes to handle a system that needs hand-on customization from the get-go, with the help of our main standout feature, our vibrant and friendly community. So, from the outset, if you are looking for an easy distribution to set up and use out of the box, then Endeavor probably isn't for you. The installation actually isn't that difficult to be fair, but when it comes to package management, it is far easier to install packages from the command line. My setup comes with a customised Mate desktop, which I created a video for earlier this month, and is linked in the description. I have installed all the common packages that I would use on a regular basis, including Chrome, Simple Screen Recorder, VLC, Caden Live, Rhythmbox, LibreOffice and GIMP. I will be honest though, I haven't actually used either GIMP or Rhythmbox at all this month. As mentioned before, all the tools were installed via the command line using a mixture of Pacman and Yay. Yay uses the Arch user repository and is the fallback option for when you can't find the packages using Pacman. I could set up flat packs on this system but the AUR is so fully featured, there is little point doing so. Hardware was all relatively easy to set up and I had no problems with Wi-Fi, Bluetooth or printing. Mate is a superb desktop environment. It's lightweight but fully featured and it's a joy to use. You can see I have lots of silly effects and a background changer installed. Caden Live is doing an annoying thing where it wants to transpose all my MKV videos, which slows things down but I imagine I am missing a codec somewhere. But being this is one of the last videos that I will be creating on Endeavor this month, I am not going to bother fixing it now. You have to keep the system up to date, and this is key. If you try and install something and it doesn't work, update the system and try again. It almost always fixes itself. Remember, Arch is a rolling release distro, and it is very up to date. If you don't want to manage the system regularly and keep it up to date, then you probably want something less demanding. At the other end of the scale would be Debian, which updates very infrequently. All in all, Endeavor was okay. I liked using it, and as an intermediate user, I got on fine with it. As I said though, it isn't going to be suitable for everyone, and certainly people new to Linux, and those who don't like to get their hands dirty. Imagine you want a cat for the first time, and you decide on a mountain lion. But that is that. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, and I will see you next time on Everyday Linux User.